Yeah, blessed love to everyone. Eh? Give thanks for your presence with us at this moment. Yes, you are in the tiger's nest. The Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. I was just preparing myself for our program this evening. This evening being Thursday, the 11th of November. Hey, that's a thunder there. Thunder lick out the same time we began the first thunder. I think I hear for the day, although it's a, a overcast day. Give thanks. Marcus Messiah Gavi with us. So, well, yeah, that means something good going on. So we definitely give thanks for your presence with us. We're just spending a moment with you. As I said, I'm actually preparing for our evening program, which is the Shock of the Hour radio program that's going out internationally throughout the world. All of our subscribers for sure will be getting a copy of the program. And, um, and of course, the other listeners will be tuned in wherever you may be in the earth, wherever the program is, is broadcasted in your neck of the woods. But this program is so important tonight. We will not be hearing this program on the YouTube, but I'm just giving you an idea of exactly what we'll be going into. And um, even before, this is really leading up to the lecture on Sunday, which is the 22nd day of November. Of course, you know, when we have these big events, we like to do, you know, some programs, a series of programs to kind of sensitize the audience because we have different levels of people in the audience. Eh? We have people where the subject area may be the first time they've heard of it. And there are people that that they may be a bit more versed in the subject area. So you got to consider all these things. So, yes, it's Sunday, the 22nd day of November, Bible Decoded, how to read the text. This is a lecture, online lecture given by myself. And of course, you know, this is going to be 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. You got to check the time where you are. Remember, the admission can be the admission can be paid using the cash app. Remember, the cash app is Atonra 2723. And if you have any problems using the cash app, you could definitely email us, priestisaac27 at gmail.com, and we can take it from there. Now, what I'm going to present to you, I'll be giving this a little more airplay tonight when we go into the shock of the hour. But some of you would have read the book, The Bible Code by Michael Drossin. Now I read that book about 15, between 13 and 15 years ago, the Bible book, um, the Bible Code. And of course, I think it was the History Channel that was running a series of programs on the Bible Code. Very um, convincing argument. And basically, the idea of the Bible code is basically taking the scripture of the Old Testament. Now, this is very important. The scriptures of the Torah specifically, not even the Old Testament, but the Torah, and somewhat sending it through this sophisticated um, technological machinery, wherein when you put the, the when you put it through the computer, basically what happens is that. You, it releases information to you, highlighting certain events and certain people, uh, when certain people were born, when certain people were assassinated, these different things. And again, it's the technique is that you utilize the Torah, the, the, the Old Testament, the books of Moses in the Hebrew form. And then you do what you have to do with the computer software, of which I'm not a computer scientist as such, but I guess, you know, you gotta trust those that are in the field. So you run this through the computer software and it tells you all kinds of things. It tells you when Kennedy was assassinated, you see where Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. You see who's gonna be the president here, there or whenever. You see all sorts of things from 9-11 to a Pearl Harbor attack and these different things, all of this supposedly is seen, decoded, in the Bible, the same scriptures that we read specifically in the, the supposedly original form, which is the Hebrew form. So we will be talking about that this evening. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you a little clip here of the Bible code itself, a, a, a bit of from a documentary that was done on it. And for those who do not know about it, this will give you a little idea. Well, a childhood Talmudic and mathematical prodigy in Czechoslovakia prior to World War II survived the Holocaust and after the war emigrated to the United States. Weissmendel, while still a young man, had stumbled onto the notes of the 13th century rabbi Bakya, suggesting that divine information could be derived from the Torah by means of skipping a specific interval of letters. 
Now, with all the horror behind him, Weissmandel returned to the fascination of his youth, the possibility of a mysterious Bible code. Rabbi Weissmandel, through his diligence and determination in his studies of the Torah, made some remarkable discoveries. In the book of Genesis, if you go to the first equivalent of a T and count 49 letters and then take the next one, in other words, the 50th letter, is the equivalent of what we would consider a Vav. It's, it's what we would consider an O. You count another 50 letters, it's a Resh, or like our R. You count another 50 letters, and you come to a hey, or like an H. In other words, it's as if you found a T-O-R-H at 49 letter intervals. It's I hope you, I hope you understand nice. exactly what he's saying here. This is very, very important. So he's saying now oh, you're, you're counting a specific amount of letters within the scripture, and it's going to lead you to the word Torah. Now listen, he's utilizing the book, the first five books, eh? Um, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deut Deuteronomy, and Numbers. I think I may have twisted Numbers and Deuteronomy, but just check the vibes. A young man had stumbled onto the notes of Very a 13th century eh? rabbi, Bakya, suggesting that divine information could be derived from the Torah by means of skipping a specific interval of letter. Listen. Now, with all the horror behind him, Weissmandel returned to the fascination of his youth, the possibility of a mysterious Bible code. Rabbi Weissmandel, through his diligence and determination in his studies of the Torah, made some remarkable discoveries. In the book of Genesis, if you go to the first equivalent of a T and count 49 letters and then take the next one, in other words, the 50th letter, is the equivalent of what we would consider a Vav. It's, it's what we would consider an O. You count another 50 letters, it's a Resh, or like our R. You count another 50 letters, and you come to a hey, or like an H. In other words, it's as if you found a T-O-R-H at 49 letter intervals. Yeah. It spells the word Torah. Rather remarkable in its own right, but one of those things you could dismiss as just a happenstance. But when you get to Exodus, you discover the same thing happens. You come to a T, 49 letters plus one, you get to the O, the R, and the H the same way. And so again, this starts to look very designed. In pursuing this further, you go to the book of Leviticus, the third book, and there's nothing like this happens. But you go to the um, fourth book of the Torah, the book of Numbers, the same thing happens, but only if you spell Torah backwards. Hear that? Kind of weird. You go to the book of Deuteronomy, again you find the equivalent thing, but only if you spell it backwards. Now, you, you wonder, what does this mean? And you stand back from it all, it's as if those four books are pointing to the middle book, two forward, two back, to the book of Leviticus. So you examine Leviticus more carefully Listen. and you discover not 49 letter intervals, but seven letter intervals. Every eighth letter, you have the word uh, Yahweh or the name of God and you stand back. Okay, before we go any further, in fact, as I said, we'll be going a little more deeper into this this evening. I'm actually prepping for that. So, so he's saying, you know, the Genesis, Exodus, like, you know, intervals of 49 um, you have 49 letters intervals in between and or words in between and when you check it out you get the word Torah um, Genesis, Exodus, the same thing Torah, Leviticus we're not saying this but we go to Deuteronomy and Numbers we get Torah again but it's back to front as if pointing to the middle book which is Leviticus and then when we do the science in Leviticus but not 45 not 49 intervals but 7 intervals now we get y h w h y h w h y h w h down the line according to what the scholars are saying here all right let's listen to this one accurate details about people and events that took place who lived long after the bible was written we can go to events as recent as the bombing in Oklahoma, where we have the name of the building that was blown up, the Marab building, encoded, Oklahoma encoded, even the name of the man who was arrested and convicted for the crime, Timothy McVeigh, all encoded in a document that's 3,000 years old. 
Watergate is encoded. The one time that word appears, there's a question. Who is he? President, but he was kicked out. Economic crisis is encoded one time in the Bible, and with it is the year of the great stock market crash, the year the Great Depression began, 1929. The collision of the comet with Jupiter in July 1994, found two months before the collision took place, was encoded twice in the Old Testament. With the exact name of the comet, Shoemaker-Levy, which had only been discovered a year earlier, in both cases, the name of the comet actually crossed the name of the planet, Jupiter, and in one of the encodings, we had the exact day of impact. Of course, World War II and the Holocaust are very clearly encoded in extraordinary detail. Okay, I wouldn't even go any more into that. So you get an idea. Now, according to these individuals, and that, that was Drossen himself speaking a moment ago, the, the author of the specific book. So you have, according to this code, because it's just about a code, and it's like a key. You know, the whole software and the computer, it's a key. The Old Testament, the Torah, just put it in the machine, and all of this information just spits back out at you. And it's almost like a crossword puzzle, eh? So you see Abraham Lincoln going across, and then maybe the date or whatever he was assassinated, and maybe his assassin name up there in the corner. This is how it is highlighted. Now, I'm not going to break it down now, go into the depths of it, I must say. It's a very interesting subject. I mean, I've, I've, I've been into that, uh, reading that book almost 15 years, maybe 13 to 15 years. Um, as I said, there's certain aspects of it that that needs explanation i wouldn't i'm not a person that's going to jump and say boy you know hear what they say about the bible code that that must be true because for example let me just give you a quick example you may say like hey we have the assassination of no let's use 9 11 okay 9 11 so with the 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 the, the world trade center 9 11 and then they will tell you that in the same space where you see 9 11 you have the names of all the hijackers, and then up in the corner, you have Osama bin Laden's name. Now, we know for sure that Osama bin Laden and all them nine hijackers, hijackers or 16 or 19 hijackers, however it is, these were not the people that was behind what happened on September 11, 2001 in New York City. We know that, and in the Pentagon and all of that. These were not the people. So whatever was highlighted in this code in that scripture must be the news report because that was not the real deal you know so so then you have to look into you can just run and follow everything you hear i'm not denying it because i am one that totally believes that the bible is layered and full of codes that's for sure that's undeniable in my book that's for sure it may not how i decode it may not be like this but that's a book that can be decoded and it's layered with a lot of allegory and so many different things, more than the story, much more than the story. And this is what we're trying to highlight to the audience. And that is why we have been doing several programs, at least on the shock of the hour, for those who listen to the shock of the hour, highlighting the mystics of the, of the Bible, the Torah and whatever have you, as we are leading up to the lecture on the 22nd day of November which really will be going into another level all together, even to be honest, beyond this. I know a lot of people, oh, you know, the Bible, oh, we need to show the Bible. And that's not the discussion here. This is not no kindergarten argument with nobody. That is why we do these lectures in the webinar session. So those who really want to learn, and that is just the truth, those who really want to learn and come in and sit and suck, and really pen and pad and put the information down and retain it, they can come in and full joy it without any frequency vibration or any meditation that is not good for the soul. So I'm just inviting you. In fact, listen to what we're going to do. Tonight's program, this is the program for the 11th of the 11th month, <laughs> the 11th of November. That's, that's the, the program specifically that you will be getting for for that evening there, that's the 11th of um, November. And that program itself, as I said, will be going into the whole aspect of 
the, the Bible code, I will be sending that program to anyone that wants that program. So if you're not a, a subscriber to the shock of the hour and you say, hey man, I'm not a subscriber to the shock of the hour, but I would like to hear the full radio program that you did. I mean, the program is gonna go more than an hour. I would like to hear the full radio program that you did as it relates to the Bible code. Can you please um, send me the full program and we will just send that program to you that is no charge whatsoever, especially if you are an individual who has you know, already bought their ticket for the Sunday session, because that's it. A lot of people buy their ticket for the lecture. They're not subscribers to the shock of the hour. They may not, they may not hear every program. Some of you may be considering buying your ticket for Sunday, the 22nd of November. You may not be a member of the shock of the hour team. You definitely not gonna hear all the programs that we do, but this program that we're doing here, I think that it is necessary that you get a copy of this one. This is the one we're doing on the Bible code. Not Bible decoding, the Bible code. So if you just email me, whenever you see this program and you email me and say, hey, I would like to hear that program you did on the Bible code. And I will just send you that program. It's just one program. Send it in your email, in your inbox. All you have to do is email me, precise at 27 at gmail.com. And I send you that whole program. And you know, it will put you in a good frame of mind, especially if you're coming to sit in with us on Sunday, the 22nd day of november eh? for sure and even if you even if you subscribe to the 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 shock of the hour program let's say next week i will still put that program in the list of programs that you will get because i know people will be subscribing to the shock of the hour uh, because you know once you are a member of the shock of the hour subscription team you definitely you know you definitely know have to pay to come into the lecture hall um, this Sunday or any Sunday when we do our lectures. So we're definitely looking forward to that. Remember for sure that the shock of the hour comes to you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And remember that once you are a member of the shock of the hour, oh, let me just highlight this before we go. Um, um, our DVD documentaries, we still have that bundle available. I just gotta let you know where you could get the Night of the Black Tiger, uh, you get the documentary seven, and also you get the documentary, the Masters of Ceremony or the Master of Ceremony. These three documentaries specifically, you get them for only 50 United States currency dollars. The three of them, eh? that's a bundle. And listen, when you get the three of those documentaries, you still get a month's worth of the radio program, the shock of the hour. And just to be a member of the shock of the hour, even if you got it for free, you will automatically get your entrance to come into the lecture this Sunday. And the next lecture we're gonna do, which is gonna be a couple Sundays after this Sunday, man, everything is there for you. And if you don't take that route, what you could do, we have, we have three eBooks. Of course, you know, our, our, our most, Recent ebook is the heavens declare the glory, Rastafari and the cosmos. So, so once you get the three bundle again, that bundle, which is the three books, pardon me, that's Rastafari and the cosmos, which is the heavens declare the glory, the book Anu, ancient and modern, and of course the book, the true biblical land of Israel. These three books, just like the videos, these three books, you get them in a bundle for only $50. And if you buy the bundle, you get a full month's worth of the shock of the hour. Listen, I'm telling you, they have people that come together. I know some brethren there in Africa that come together. I mean, I know I don't want to be putting nobody, you know, in the spotlight, but they have some people that just email me and tell me, boy, things hard and we don't even see a dollar and, you know. They have some brethren, eh? about six, seven of them that come together and make sure that they pay for their shock of the hour every month. A heap of them. And whatever it is <laughs> I send to them, they share it. When we do the Sunday lectures online, all of them gather together in the same spot and sit down and watch the lectures. So enough respect to ones like that who's serious about the information. You're not just talking. Yeah, of course, I mean, we, we, we give a lot free, eh? a lot. Even what you see us have for tender, we give a lot free, but we give enough respect 
to those who put it upon themselves and they know the value of the work that we are doing and understand the message that's coming out, I give enough respect to those who, 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 if you think you can't do it by yourself, you get others to come together and say, hey man, let's put some money together and make sure we can hear what Priest Isaac is saying every evening, enough respect to that. So yeah, so them brothers coming in Sunday the 22nd and we're looking forward to them and they'll be listening to the shock of the hour tonight so we're looking forward to them and again if you're not a part of the subscription team just email me and we will send you this program that we will be doing tonight the, um, the bible code and we're looking for you for bible decoded on the 22nd of november yeah let me go and get ready for the program give thanks for your presence holy money will i silasi i ja rastafari blessed love